cause of death? A bullet or bullets. Uh, low calibre. No exit wound, point blank range. Well, he wouldn't have run very far, would he? He was one of the teenagers I was going to talk to today. Teenage boys harassing the old bloke, Tom. Simon Mayfield was on the list. Some of the lads were in these woods last night with a rifle. Doing what? Lumping's what they like. Catching rabbits, foxes, whatever, vermin. In car headlights, shooting them. Whatever else was happening, uh, this is a calculated, premeditated murder. Where do you want to start, sir? I don't. I have got an unidentified body, 30 or 40 years old, a suspicious death. You started this, Troy. You can finish it, Inspector. What's next, then, Sergeant? Securing the scene would be favourite. The crime scene is very secure, Constable. Although it will be helpful if you don't add any more of your size 11 footprints to the ones we already have. What I need from you is a list of anywhere and everywhere in the area a person might find a man trap. Wouldn't know where to start. There's no shortage of the things on Lord Fitzgibbon's estate. I suggest you start there. Does Daniel have a rifle? No. Your husband? No. And though I'm sure you're right, most guns belong to men. I don't have a rifle either. Do you know if Daniel was shooting last night with his friends? Is that how Simon died? Where were you shooting? Simmons Wood. A couple of fields off the forest road. And there was one rifle? Stevens. His dad's anyway. You shot some rabbits, nothing else, then went to the pub. So what? Stephen Curtis has the rifle. I suppose if he went back for it... Back for it? Dirtbag Tom. This old tramp, he was, well... He was standing there in front of us when we were leaving the woods. He. He took the rifle off Stephen and he chucked it. How do you mean? Simon stopped. Tom launched into this row, shouting about us killing God's little creatures. Then he snatched the rifle off Stephen and chucked it into the hedge. He's a nutter. Everyone knows. Simon put his foot down and we went. Leaving the rifle. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter now, does it? You let Tom take the rifle. He, he snatched it. He just chucked it. Well, you should have picked it up. We were going to go back after the pub, Dad. I forgot. You were pissed, you mean. Mr Curtis, the most important thing I need to know at present is when your son last saw Simon Mayfield. I'm sorry. We're all choked. Simon was, um... Was it a car accident? You said he left the pub first. Was he going home? He didn't say. How did you get home? I walked. What time did you get here? Half eleven, I suppose. I was still up when he came in. Look, what is all this, Sergeant? I want to know more about the shooting in the woods and this run-in with Tom. They're just kids. If this nutcase took the rifle... Mr and... Curtis, the rifle in question is licensed to you. You had no right to let it out of this house unless it was properly secured and in your possession. As for the Firearms Act, the fact that your son left it by the roadside doesn't mean you won't be facing <sighs> prosecution. Is that what this is all about? Petty bureaucracy. A boy died last night. That's right, Mr Curtis. Simon Mayfield was shot through the head, we believe, using a .22 calibre rifle. Mm -hmm. 